Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Electronic Box, the channel for electronic gadgets and tips and tricks around them. Today we will speak about something completely new and interesting for many people. If you like bicycles and more specifically modern electric bikes, which I firmly believe will be the future of urban mobility, you've come to the right place. Because now you will understand everything about this small box, cleverly called Speedbox. Like always, I'll give you the shorter version right away. Speedbox is an electronic device that removes the 25 km per hour limitation for your electric bike, recently called Pedalex. Now, in a lot more and detailed specified information, Speedbox has many variations, dedicated to different brands and models. They have solutions even for bike with an ABS system and others with Bluetooth connections. The option that you see here is a simple one and it costs around 190 euros. Fitting this device on an e-bike can be super easy, but to be honest, it mostly depends from the bike that you have and the Bosch motor generation. Today I will show you both the difficult option for Steven's e-bike with 3rd generation and the easiest option with KTM 4th generation performance line CX engines and both with Intuvia displays. Let's start with the more difficult version, the one that has a full side engine cover but first let's see what's inside the box. When you open it you will find the device itself, a nice booklet and manual that is simple, yet absolutely enough for everybody to understand. The device is like a middleman between the cables and the motor. First the cables from the motor goes to the speed box and then from the speed box must go back to the motor. Now about the tools. For the difficult version you will need an Allen key for the crank arm, some flat or special pliers, a Torx 20 screwdriver and a crank puller. This is a must-have, otherwise will be impossible to remove the crank lever. Now the procedure. First we remove the crank lever bolt. Second step is to remove the pedal. Then install the crank puller, tighten it slightly and start turning the tool handle clockwise until it stops. After that you have to use a lot of force to detach the crank arm. After a few deep breaths you'll be ready. The next step is to remove all cover bolts. When you remove them, the cover can be removed. On this third generation Bosch, we need to focus on second and fourth connectors only. We pull them out gently and we have to plug back the two similar connectors from the speed box. And the previously removed connectors we must put into the female speed box connectors. To be honest, we are almost ready. The only thing that we have to do is to find a place for the Speedbox PCB. We can hide it behind this metal bracket and then use for example zip ties to secure it in place. Now is the reverse operation. Put back the cover and tighten the bolts. Then fit back the crank arm or maybe you can call it crank lever and its bolt. And finally mount back the pedal and tighten its bolt. Now let's move to the second, easier version with this KTM with 4th generation motor. Here you don't need a crank puller, simply remove all cover screws and remove the two plastic covers. Remove the two connectors and again install them into Speedbox wiring. Just see your Speedbox manual because the connectors have totally different positions. Again you have to plug the Speedbox connectors back into the motor and just find a place for the device. Fit back the two engine covers and you'll be ready. Finally, the most important part, how to switch it on and switch it off. First, turn the e-bike on. Then to activate Speedbox you need to press plus minus plus minus. The display will show 9.9 .9, which means 99 kilometers or without limit. If you press again plus minus plus minus it shows 2.5 and that means with a limit of 25 km per hour. The other option is to use the walk assist button on top of the controller. Just press it once and this activates or deactivates the speed box. This is a super add-on for your electric bike. Just be aware that you have to use 
this bike without limit only on country roads and off-road activities. It is not allowed to be used on main roads and in the city. By the way, if your display mod shows turbo means on top, you will not be able to use plus minus plus minus function and in this case you can activate it with minus plus minus plus. That will work also. Before purchasing, please visit the Speedbox website or contact them if you don't know what model to order. There you have it friends, my short explainer video dedicated to Speedbox 3.0. I'm your host Nico, signing off the Electronic Box channel. Be well and stay safe. Peace.